You know, love your left hand, right? But it's missing something. That's right. <laughs> there you go. Now you're officially mine. You do something like that, you already set the bar kind of high, my boy. Whatever you come with after that, it cannot be a step down. You started off with putting a ring on her finger? Even though I don't know what kind of ring that is, you know what I'm saying? But it ain't no ring pop. The crazy thing is, what if you do that, right? What if she's just not interested? How you gonna ask for your ring back? <laughs> you know what? I'm sitting up here thinking about um, a time my friend reminded me that um, I got dumped by my boyfriend at the time because um i was leaving town he had like some money on his dresser and i took like 15 dollars because i wanted to like grab some food or something at the airport but i didn't have any cash i don't remember why i took it but i took like 15 dollars and i went to the airport almost was on flight made it and um i think like a, maybe a i would say like a week and a half later i had mentioned it and this boy, like, dumped me on the spot. Like, that's so crazy. And I was trying to explain, like, why. So, because I feel like, anyway, I just ask that the Lord protects me from the pettiest of the Okay? Because that shit had me crazy. Yo, you took $15 from this man and you didn't tell him. That's stealing. Checking up the other day, like, damn, I really got dumped. Because, and I mean, we grown. We are adults, like, grown. Both of us have careers. $15? He ain't like me for real. You justify stealing, sis. Hmm. Fifteen dollars today, fifteen hundred tomorrow, fifteen thousand another day. Character development. You know, I love to throw my relationship in there. One thing I can tell you, as much as my wife loves money, she ain't never going to pick none of that money up unless she asks me first. And I respect that about her. There's been times where I would have like $200 just laying around and we'll be on the phone. She'll say some shit like, hey, can you stay on the phone with me? I'm like, why? Oh, I'm about to go withdraw some money. I needed some cash or whatever. I'm like, yo, didn't you see the cash on the table? She's like, yeah, but that's your money. I'm not going to touch your money. I do think it's a pride thing on her part, too. Like, she do have, like, this pride shit when it comes to money. My little bro got in the game for 12 seconds, and he did this. Take him out of the game. Take him out of the game. My little bro got in the game. Take... His little ass out the game. Imagine if that's your son. Of all the celebrations you can do. Huh? The fastest I've ever U-hauled? Uh, I'm not a good lesbian. It's it's probably actually been a year. Three months? <laughs> a week? I don't know. Hold on. People of the alphabet community, what is a U-haul? What, what does that mean? What does that mean? I don't do that shit. Like six months. So I've never you hold, but I've come close. I've come close and I will say it feels so good and I'm gonna stand by that. You have all these terms. You have scissors. Now you have you haul. What the f is what does that mean? Is it moving in? Why would that be a thing though? Move, is that sha is it shacking up? This is never a good idea. Two, three, two, three. She threw it like it. This what happened when y'all go to Miami and don't use no rubbers. You out in Miami not using no rubbers. That That is insane. Both for you and the dudes who did it. Because if y'all don't know them, that's crazy out here taking you out of Stroke City without no rubbers. When it comes to situations like this, I'm not even gonna blame just the chick alone. Cause I know some of you y'all so deep into the brotherhood, y'all don't even hold them other niggas accountable. It take two to tango, dog. All right, so if you've been enjoying the video so far, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that notification bell. Leave a comment. Let me know how you feeling about the videos. And you know, our next milestone is half a mil, man. So let's get right. Stop playing with me. Why would I help a man get on his feet if there are men who are already standing up? Oh, darling, I got some bad news for you. You see, as one of those men who's gotten on his feet, 
probably has more money in the bank than you'll make in three lifetimes, has been very successful. The question you really need to be asking is not why would you help a man get on his feet, but why would a man who's on his feet want anything to do with you? Because what are you bringing to the table? Oh, I know. You're going to say this. Well, I hate to break it to you, but this ain't worth what you think it is. There's plenty of this to be found elsewhere. The fact of the matter is what you're showing to men who are on their feet is that you're nothing more than someone who's looking for a paycheck. You're looking for someone to take care of you. You're looking for someone to bear the burden for a lifestyle you think you deserve so that you don't have to put any effort into acquiring it. The reality is this is the mindset of most of today's modern women. The ones who think that they deserve it all while putting absolutely no effort in whatsoever. They think that they are all that when in reality, they're anything but. And unfortunately for these women, reality is going to smack them right in the face in a few years. They're going to hit that wall and they're going to realize that all their expectations and dreams about what men are supposed to do for them isn't going to come to fruition. They're going to end up alone and bitter. And then they're going to go making videos going, where are all the men at? That's the reality, ladies. And you got two choices. You can keep doing what you're doing, which is basically what this woman is doing. Or you can accept the fact that you need to start making an effort also. That you aren't all that and that you're really not bringing anything to the table that men would really want. That is the reality, like it or not. Before you start dating, ladies, you need to ask yourself a question. Am I a liability or am I an asset? If you get with a man, are you going to cost him money? Are you going to bring him down from where he's at right now? Or are you going to add to him? Are you going to add to his kingdom? Are you going to be the queen of his castle? A lot of you young ladies that are demanding queen treatment are liabilities. Oh, uh, what type of slippers are those? What's up, Chief? Uh, is it fake joints? These are real Why you, no, no disrespect. I'm your older cousin. Do you think it's appropriate to walk around the house like this? Yes. No. Girl, like you not, we not at a spot. Go put some clothes on, get some shorts, a long t-shirt. This is all shorts. That's not shorts. Get a I agree with him. If I go to the crib, my cousin got some sexually explicit shit on, I'ma feel uncomfortable. Hey, yo, put some clothes on. You for that? That's the type of time that I'm on. The long t-shirt, the Asia, like nobody. Uh, get out of here. I'm grown. That's no, it's not about not, being grown. You. We damn near the same age. Like, Are you not? We not the same. And you got these Versace slippers. I think that you should take this off. I think you, that whoa. Well, I think you should change your outfit. <laughs> what do you think? What's wrong, mouth? It's too revealing. Girl, go take the outfit. Hey, look, let me tell y'all a story. So when I lived in Brooklyn, I, I have family in Brooklyn, you feel me? I have cousins that I never met. That's how I'm gonna start it off. I have cousins that I've never met in Brooklyn. So one day, I went to play basketball and I came back to the crib. My cousin Judy was there. Right when I walked through the door, before I even seen Judy, I seen this light-skinned chick. I was like, oh shit, she all right. Who the fuck is this? Now, I'm thinking is one of my aunt's church friends then came through with her daughter. So immediately I'm plotting. I'm like, what's good? Then I seen Judy pop out of the kitchen. So I'm like, oh, what's up, Judy? So then my aunt and them was like, this your first time meeting your cousin? Um, I forgot her name. I don't even know her name, bro. She's like, this your first time meeting your cousin? So I'm like, cousin? I like, yeah. It's like, yeah, you know, Judy got two daughters and da, 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 da. this the youngest one. I forgot her name, dog. In my mind, son, I, I ain't gonna say I felt disgusting, you know what I'm saying? I, don't, I ain't feel disgusting because I didn't know. You feel me? But yeah, bro. I don't know if anybody ever had one of them situations where, like, that would have been one of them situations, bro. I would have been so f mad because if I seen her on the street, I would definitely try to talk to her. And then we kind of have a family reunion, and now I find out me and my cousin that had a Jerry Springer moment. But, ladies, if you in the crib with your family members, put some clothes on. 